Could an ancient advanced civilization have existed millions of years ago on Earth? Earth's history is incredibly long, far longer than our own existence. The Earth itself is 4.543 billion years old, and in all that time, many things have occurred, like volcanic eruptions, wars, and floods. While we've managed to survive up to now, the future remains uncertain. Consider this. Modern industrial civilization is relatively young, at around 150 years old. We're currently in a period called the Anthropocene, which signifies the time when signs of human activity are becoming part of the Earth's geological record. But what exactly are these signs? They're not grand buildings or structures, instead they're tiny plastic particles in today's oceans, lakes and rivers that will eventually become sedimentary rock. There's also a trace of radioactivity in rocks, which might remain for millions of years, even if our civilization is wiped out in a nuclear conflict. The question is, Will any of this evidence still exist in 20, 50, or even 100 million years? Or will it all be gone, leaving behind only fossilized bones? In our quest to discover the planet's oldest civilizations, we've come across some truly fascinating findings that will keep you intrigued. So, be sure to stay with us until the end of the video. To the best of our knowledge, Earth stands as the sole celestial body that has supported and continues to support life. It is also the only known world that has fostered the development of at least one industrial civilization, our very own. On one hand, complex life on our planet has existed for at least 400 million years. Yet as a species, we only managed to create an industrial civilization around 300 years ago. But what if an earlier industrial civilization existed on Earth millions of years ago? If that were so, how would we be able to prove it or disprove it? This is the crux of the Silurian hypothesis. This kind of civilization, comprised of intelligent beings harnessing external energy sources, such as fossil fuels or solar power on a global scale, has been present on our planet for a relatively brief period, not exceeding three centuries. Its inception traces back to the Industrial Revolution, a pivotal era that furnished the means to transform local economies into a highly interconnected system capable of mass-producing an ever-expanding array of goods and significantly modifying the global environment. The Earth's ancient history is filled with intriguing discoveries, like the recent unearthing of life's earliest traces within a three, five-billion-year-old rock in Western Australia. Through a meticulous chemical process, scientists unveiled an ancient biological fossil, making it the oldest known specimen of ancient life. However, Earth's history is also a tale of remarkable transformation. It's enthralling to consider how dramatically our planet has evolved. Early prehistoric creatures met their end in a cataclysmic event triggered by an asteroid, which set off a chain reaction of volcanoes, earthquakes, colossal tsunamis, and a shroud of dust that may have darkened the skies, leading to the demise of vegetation. Furthermore, the notion of life beyond our world sparks curiosity, bearing resemblances to the Anthropocene, our current geological era, marked by humanity's irreversible impact on Earth. The Silurian hypothesis was introduced by two scientists, Gavin Schmidt, a NASA expert in exoplanets, and Adam Frank, an astrophysicist at the University of Rochester. Schmidt's work delves into the atmospheric conditions of exoplanets, examining the gases present and their thermodynamics, Certain gases can hint at the presence of an advanced civilization, a rise in temperature in the atmosphere, similar to what we observe with human-caused global warming, could be another clue. Schmidt suggests that a significant increase in atmospheric temperature and the existence of gases linked to industrial activity might be the only indicators we could discover to show the existence of intelligent alien life elsewhere. Yet why search far beyond when we could investigate our very own planet Earth for evidence of a previous advanced civilization? The hypothesis specifically focuses on a particular time in Earth's history, around 55 million years ago, known as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, PETM. During this period, temperatures in the atmosphere rose significantly, by about 5 to 8 degrees Celsius, 9 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. This warming period aligns with a time when CO2 levels in the atmosphere were considerably higher, 
as confirmed by geological records. The question arises, could this evidence point to the presence of a highly advanced species like the Silurians? Or could it simply be explained by natural phenomena, such as an asteroid impact or a massive volcanic eruption? Anything short-lived, like our current industrial civilization, would probably leave no detectable trace in the geological record when examined 20 million years or more in the future. The Earth's constant changes in continents, weathering, and various natural processes would bury any evidence. The tools at our disposal are insufficient to uncover past civilizations from such a distant era. At best, we can unearth the ancient remains of our ancestors in sites like those found in Africa. For other intelligent species that might have built advanced civilizations, take the octopus as an example. What kind of imprints or evidence would they leave in the geological record to narrate their story? Schmidt and Frank propose that it might be the destiny of all intelligent species that create civilizations, whether they rise or fall, to remain unnoticed by future beings. There may be no lasting legacy to explore, even as our civilization seeks to unveil the enigmas of the vast universe in which we are but temporary travelers. Nonetheless, if there was a prior industrial civilization that met its demise due to catastrophic climate change brought about by its industrial actions, then we ought to take these lessons to heart. Because as a civilization, we find ourselves on the brink of crucial decisions. A great rule of thumb exists in science, and it goes by the name Occam's Razor. In the 14th century, English Franciscan philosopher and theologian William of Occam proposed that the likeliest solution to a problem is the simplest one. Furthermore, we can gain insights into the rapid disappearance of civilizations by examining historical examples. One such case is the Minoans, who thrived on the island of Santorini around 3,600 years ago until a catastrophic volcanic eruption transformed their civilization into ashes. Similarly, the Mayan civilization, known for its advancements in writing and mathematics, experienced a swift decline due to factors like climate change and destructive conflicts. The Indus Valley civilization was once the home of around 5 million people, a highly advanced society. They constructed impressive walkways with large, multi-story brick houses and developed sophisticated drainage systems for their roads. However, a shift in climate patterns led to a decrease in rainfall, causing the decline of this once thriving city, eventually leading its inhabitants to abandon it. There are legends and potential discoveries of places like the mythical lost city of Atlantis, where half-divine, half-human beings supposedly lived. This ancient civilization was said to be an advanced utopia and a major naval power. Its lush islands were believed to be rich in gold and silver. According to Plato, Atlantis existed around 9,000 years before his time, making it an incredibly ancient and advanced civilization. It's possible that these islands were gradually submerged over time due to rising sea levels, or that intense volcanic activity led to the civilization's submersion into the depths of the ocean, forever lost to history. It is possible that somewhere buried in the ground in Africa, which is called the Cradle of Humankind, are the remnants of an ancient civilization that existed millions of years ago. Some modern human fossils have been found here that are three to 400,000 years old. Over 1,000 different hominid fossils have been discovered here, showing that the human race evolved here over millions of years. As we reflect on our present civilization and the relatively brief period we've experienced in the modern industrial era, it's evident that we've made remarkable technological progress. We've achieved significant advancements in a relatively short time frame. Now contemplate the possibility of a civilization that predates us by hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. Throughout these extensive periods, such a civilization could have emerged and developed technologically advanced cities, much like our own. It's even been theorized that the human species could be the aliens on Earth, and that some other species of intelligent life, like ours, existed before us. When you think about what could happen in billions of years, perhaps there was another form of life here before us that became technologically advanced to the point that they left the planet long ago and are somewhere among the stars with us humans simply being the remnants of this ancient civilization while there's no concrete proof of such civilizations due to the vast passage of time 
there have been intriguing discoveries hinting at advanced ancient technology that appears out of place in its historical context. For instance, the Vikings had a compass known as the Ulfbert, which was remarkably advanced for its era, almost akin to a modern GPS. Moreover, archaeologists found clay jars with asphalt stoppers and iron rods that seem to have functioned as batteries around 2,000 years ago near Baghdad, Iraq. Even more astonishing is the potential evidence of a 1.8 billion year old nuclear reactor. In 1972, near Franceville in Africa's Gabon Republic, a French factory imported uranium ore, believed to be the product of a natural phenomenon. However, some experts argue that the precise conditions needed for uranium to burn in a reactor make it unlikely to have occurred naturally. The uranium deposits containing lower than expected uranium-235 suggest a reactor that operated nearly two billion years ago. This raises the question, did nature create a perfect nuclear reactor, or have we unearthed remnants of an ancient civilization that harnessed nuclear power? As our technology continues to advance, the likelihood of discovering more evidence of ancient civilizations grows. There might even be the chance of uncovering traces of life that thrived millions of years ago. Importantly, being the present-day civilization doesn't guarantee our eternal existence. We could face potential threats similar to those that ended past civilizations, like supervolcanoes or drastic climate changes that could displace us from our habitats. The impressive structures we've created, from highways and bridges to towering skyscrapers, may seem monumental today. Some of these, like illuminated cities and vast cultivated lands, are even visible from space. However, in the vast scope of geological time, these human achievements may erode swiftly. When we examine the layers of Earth's history, we find periods with conditions resembling those brought about by modern industrial activities. These conditions encompass rising global temperatures, shifts in carbon isotopes, alterations in the nitrogen cycle, oxygen-depleted events, deforestation, extinctions, and surges in specific metals. But despite these geological clues, we cannot definitively confirm the existence of ancient industrial civilizations. The challenge lies in determining whether historical climate shifts, supported by clear evidence, unfolded as rapidly and dramatically as those triggered by human industrial actions. So, if humanity were to disappear tomorrow, within less than two million years, the relentless forces of erosion and sedimentation would wipe away any signs of our cities and artifacts on the currently inhabited land. Only a few things like Mount Rushmore's carved faces or the Great Pyramids of Giza might endure for a fraction of a million years. It's also important to consider that a highly advanced culture capable of industrialization could have transitioned to entirely natural energy sources, such as wind, waves, or solar power. This presents a paradox. As our civilization becomes more environmentally conscious, it leaves behind fewer lasting traces for future generations. While Schmidt and Frank, as mentioned before, don't believe in the existence of such a past civilization, their work raises broader questions relevant to the study of exoplanets. By asking these questions, we may one day acquire the knowledge to detect signs of current or past alien civilizations. One aspect they haven't discussed yet is the possibility of a remote civilization, whether reptilian or otherwise, developing technology to explore space. In this case, it's more likely that we might find evidence of their ancient presence not on Earth, but on other celestial bodies like the Moon or Mars, where erosion and tectonic processes are less active. This idea might seem like a concept from science fiction, but it's a thought worth considering. It's not a common practice to write a paper presenting a hypothesis you don't endorse. However, when exploring the question of whether we could detect ancient industrial civilizations, we were led to consider the general types of impacts any civilization might leave on a planet. This aligns with the astrobiological perspective on climate change, which focuses on how civilization building involves harnessing planetary energy to support its development. When a civilization expands globally, it will undoubtedly have consequences for the interconnected planetary systems that sustain life, such as the atmosphere, water, and rocks. This is particularly true for young civilizations like ours, which are still advancing technologically. 
In essence, it emphasizes the idea that there's no such thing as a free lunch. While certain energy sources may have a lesser impact, like solar energy compared to fossil fuels, powering a global civilization will inevitably result in some degree of planetary impact. When you acknowledge the significance of finding lower impact energy sources in the face of climate change, your civilization will have a reduced footprint. To put it simply, the more environmentally sustainable your civilization becomes, the less evident its impact will be for the generations to come. Moreover, studies have introduced the intriguing assumption that certain planets could undergo cycles of civilization emergence and decline driven by the use of fossil fuels. When a civilization heavily depends on fossil fuels, the resultant climate alterations can cause a considerable drop in ocean oxygen levels, leading to a condition known as ocean anoxia. Surprisingly, this low oxygen setting might create the essential circumstances for the development of fossil fuels like oil and coal. Consequently, the existence and fall of one civilization could potentially pave the way for the rise of future civilizations. Our planet, Earth, has endured for eons, but nothing lasts indefinitely. It's intriguing to contemplate that someday our entire civilization will vanish from this world. Some remnants of it may linger for more advanced beings to stumble upon and explore, or perhaps another species akin to humans might thrive here after our time. It's even conceivable that we could become the cosmic artifacts discovered by an extraterrestrial species, or conversely, that we might uncover traces of another civilization beyond our world. And that concludes this video. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it. For now, goodbye, and I'll see you next time on the channel.